Hi guys, I hope you're well. If you're wondering what on earth that was and how you access that, a bit like I was earlier this week, that was Bitmoji TV and there's also Bitmoji Stories available too. What I'm going to do in this video is share how you can access those two different things and also give you some ideas to use with your class. Before we jump into the video, I make a range of teaching and traveling videos. If you're not yet subscribed to my channel, I know that 90 plus percent of you are not yet subscribed. Please take the time to subscribe, like the video whilst you're down there, and we'll jump straight into the video. So to access Bitmoji Stories and TV, it's really simple. All you need is Snapchat on your phone. And then from there, what we need to also do is make sure that you have some way of transferring the Bitmoji TV and Bitmoji Stories to your laptop so that you can share it with your class. I'm gonna tell you how to do those things now. So to start off with, you're going to need to go onto Snapchat. So once you're on Snapchat, what you're going to need to do is then jump onto the discover part. From here, you're going to go up into the search bar and then you're going to search for Bitmoji TV or Bitmoji Stories. You can see it's in my recents because I've already looked at those. So I'm gonna jump onto Bitmoji TV to start off with and you'll see there's a range of different episodes, I suppose you'd call them. Now, to save those, what I've done is simply do what I'm doing now and screen record them. If you've got an iPhone, you're gonna swipe to the slight right and just, you can see where I'm recording bring that off. Now, alternatively, you have a range of different ideas available on Bitmoji Stories. Now, here, I really like Bitmoji Stories. It's probably my favorite, to be fair. You can click on a range of different ones. Let's go for the one with the spade. You will need to take a little bit of time just to make sure that they are child appropriate. Uh, the majority of the ones I've seen so far are, but just, yeah, use your discretion for that. <clears throat> So you can see what's with the shovel and then as you tap across You'll see a range of different uh, Different slides now to save that what I'm going to do is just simply screenshot each one so I'll go through screenshot Trim that down And I'm going to repeat the process with every single slide or at least the slides that you would like to use now, from there, it's really simple. There's a range of different things you can do. Because I've got an iPhone and I've got a MacBook, I can simply click on the picture and airdrop it to my laptop. At the same time, if I don't want to do that, then I could email the pictures to myself, or if you've got Google Drive, then you could add it to a Google Drive or Dropbox and transfer it through. So there's a range of different ways. I've shared how to transfer files on uh, Google Drives before, and that was a, a Bitmoji animation one and that's really straightforward too. So there is a range of different ways to add that in. And um, once you've done that, then there's so many different ways that you could potentially use these different ideas. So if you think about the clip that I showed you at the start of the video, one thing you could potentially do is have that clip play and then say, right children, it's your turn now to create the ending. Or if this is the clip, what could the introduction have been? So you could place the event at the start of a story and then give the children the ability to extend the story. It's quite exciting because children would be uh, enticed by the fact that it's their teacher doing something and perhaps be a bit more intrigued in having that, that Bitmoji there. It's a bit of a novelty and it might wear off, but it's there. Alternatively with the Bitmoji stories, one of the things I really enjoy is the fact that you could potentially have something in linked into the Book Creator app. Now you could link different slides into the Book Creator app and give the children the opportunity to create a story. For example, with the first slide, it might be something like, right, on a bright colorful morning, Mr. Blakemore clutched his spade and strolled through the park. Next slide, and then start to build up that story and use those pictures just to engage the children a little bit more. I'm sure Without a shadow of a doubt, there are still so many different ideas that you could have with Bitmoji TVs and Bitmoji Stories. There's loads. What I'd like you guys to do, and this is your task, is to go down into the comment section and to think of some different ideas and share them down below. It's fantastic on this channel to see that educators do collaborate and share different ideas, and I really appreciate all of your time and efforts towards that too. If you found this video useful in any way or enjoyed the little weird clip at the start, feel free to like the video, that's always really appreciated. At the start of the video, I asked you to subscribe. If you've not yet done that, please take the time to do so. I appreciate that. Hopefully I'll see you in the next one for more Bitmoji or 
EdTech or teacher or something to do with education videos. I'm out.